Master Shen Yu, your work at Guandu was spectacular. Your exploitation of Yu and Chao's weakness in that battle was exceptional. No. My humble contribution was nothing compared to your own Master Guojia. At Guandu, it just so happened that I was the one the enemy leaked that information to. After that, I just used the information to give our Lord the very best plan I could think of. You don't allow yourself enough credit, but I guess I should have expected that of you. I, standing in front of people and detailing a battle is just not me. I have no problems with just acting, though. I just can't be like you or Master Yu. Or be like Master Jia Xu. Hey. Uh. Oh, yeah. I hear someone saying my name, and it turns out to be you, Master Shun Hu. It looks like you talk a lot when you drink. Master Jia Xu. <laughs> Sorry for butting in. I guess I can go do my thing somewhere else. Uh. Hmm. A small interruption. A great plan. Your ability to startle people is truly exceptional. <sighs> I can't hold a torch to Master Joshu. That does put me in a difficult position. I had planned to have you take over for me one day. Master Gojia. No, it's nothing. You have your own strengths. Especially when it comes to... Anyway. I really like that you accompany me when I'm drinking. I couldn't ask for a better friend than you. Yes. I will stay with you as long as you need me. Forces of Cao Cao defeat the armies of Yuan Chao at Guandu. The Yuan family loses momentum and eventually is wiped out. Cao Cao is now the closest to gaining control of the entire land. Elsewhere, Sun Quan has inherited control in Jingdong following the death of his brother, Sun Se. His force, however, cannot compare to that of Cao Cao. Liu Bei has yet to find a land and is currently taking refuge with Liu Biao in Jing. He has given Xinye to govern, but he has practically no force of arms. This is truly the age of Cao Cao. Even though we've taken out Yuan Chao, there sure are a lot of enemies left out there. Yes, we have Zhang Lu and Ma Tang to the west, and Liu Biao and Sun Quan to the south. Wei Kang is in charge of our defenses in the west, but he will be unable to hold out for long if Ma Tang makes his move. At present, Master Cao Ren is defending our southern border. I propose we turn our attention to the West. I agree. Liu Biao doesn't stand much of a chance against Cao Ren. My lord, we should move against Ma Teng in the West. My lord! Cao Ren, we were just talking about you. What is the matter? I am sorry, but I have failed you. Liu Biao's army broke through the Eight Gates formation, and I was forced to withdraw to Wen Castle from Xinye. 
Liu Bei was serving in Liu Biao's vanguard. But his tactics were unlike anything I've ever seen. Our men are reforming the front lines, but we have to have reinforcements. What? Liu Bei was able to overcome the Eight Gates formation? Master Cao Ren's Eight Gates formation is not something that can easily be defeated by a simpleton such as Liu Bei. That can only mean... My lord, we must assume that Liu Bei has gained the services of a rather capable strategist. Given this new development, we should place our move west on hold for now. It seems Liu Bei has become quite the thorn in my side. We must hurry to Wen Castle and slay Liu Bei on the fields of Xinye. We've received reports that Liu Bei's army is taking a position from Fan Castle all the way to Zhang Ling. Additionally, there doesn't appear to be anybody who looks like a strategist among his ranks. <laughs> then maybe their strategist doesn't look like a strategist. He could be mixed in with the troops, like Master Shun Yo is. I wonder what he's like. It's hard to think someone would turn their back on Master Cao Cao to serve Liu Bei instead. He must be rather naive. Although, perhaps that naivete is the key to our success. If we can find out more about this strategist, we can use his weaknesses to our advantage. Maybe so. But first, we need to repel Liu Bei's attack on Wen Castle. I'll take care of that. Very well. However, there are likely to be others who have joined Liu Bei's cause besides this strategist. Be sure to keep a wary eye on Guan Yu and his other officers. Yes, my lord. Hunt down Liu Bei's army. I want the strategist that is advising him. It seems they have prepared a strategy for dealing with us. It must be due to this new strategist of his. Approach with... There's something I need... Yes, thank you! Do you have... Is that so? Very well then. The strategist Shu Shu has joined Liu Bei. He's skilled, but very kind. We can abuse that. Shu Shu's mother lives around here. Search her out! South next. No rest for Lord Cao Cao Cao. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> 
still can't believe you can beat me. Persuade Lord Cao Cao's son to obey his father? Very well, I'll try. But the son sees his own truth. He will decide how to act for himself. Master Shushu, your mother has been taken captive by Cao Cao's forces! What? My mother? This is all my fault. <laughs> what a bore. Well done, son. <laughs> There are hoof prints outside Xinye Castle. Hmm. It seems clear that the enemy strategist managed to escape. Let's split up and find him. Now, which set of prints should I follow? The enemy strategist? No, I haven't seen anyone like that. I didn't see anyone like a strategist. I don't think they're here. Enemy strategist? I think I did see someone hurrying in that direction. I've learned what I can here. Which direction do we search next? Just in case, we should send some men to cover the other directions as well. Now, let's get started.
can't hope to repel them. But we've done our duty! Retreat! <laughs> it looks like these false tracks meant to mislead us. If he's not here, we should look to the south. the Shunban Bridge in order to reach Jin Lin. As such, I must come up with a plan to deal with Guan Yu. What a bore. Well done, son. Forward is blocked. This must be the work of the peasants supporting Liu Bei. I cannot attack those who are unarmed. There must be another way to break through this encirclement. Only Lord Liu Bei can answer our prayers. Unless... You think you can? Uh. Hmm. belongs to me. What should I do? Come to think of it... Lord Cao Cao has reached out to us? Maybe we've misunderstood him.
Will you listen? Listen to So, you can count on... <laughs> Only Lord... The enemy encirclement has collapsed. At last, our army can advance unimpeded. You now have the opportunity to kneel before me. It seems Master Guan Yu is in charge of defending the Changban Bridge. This is our chance to face him. Let's go, everybody! to me. belongs to me. I will not let you lay a finger on my brother. Juan Yu's blade of justice will send you on your way. Places to be where we set up our defenses. Let's 
defend this area with our lives. Do not let the enemy get through. This I have been cool. best. Agreed. There's Rebel. no escape. Not even fit to share the battlefield with me. You now have the opportunity to kneel before me. Lord Tell. Very well. belongs to me. is of strategic importance. South Sao's army is impressive indeed to have come this far. Master Leo, I recommend you retreat. Very well. You must promise not to take any unnecessary risks. I will need your strength, Lord Paul. Master Leo, you are me. I promise that I will secure your safety rights. has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. Kotal's forces are nothing to be afraid of. I'll kick them all aside. In this now. 
resistance is futile! Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. They're better than I thought! Curse it all! Still, I should have bought enough time for Brother to get away. We're gonna secure the area! Let's go! It's time to take the attack to the enemy! Forward! It's time to take the attack to the enemy! Forward! So you say your name is Shu Shu? Your petty tricks prove to be quite the annoyance. Those words bring no joy to me. Finish this. Not even fit to share the battlefield with me. I cannot proffer a strategy for you. I do not have the talent, I'm afraid. Hmm. I see you are choosing to remain loyal to Liu Bei. However, it matters not. Keep him under watch and transport him back to Xu Chang. He did not seem to be that concerned with his lord's situation. If he already accounted for this particular outcome, is it possible they let us capture Zhang Ling? I am worried that we have overextended our forces. Hmm. A rather astute observation, Master Yue Jin. We are vulnerable to a pincer attack from Sun Xuan and Liu Biao. My lord, we should withdraw from Jian Lin. Very well. Give the order for the troops to fall back to Wen Castle. Father, you seem to be having some difficulty. Huh. Yes. I never expected Liu Bei to give me so much trouble. He is a much more formidable opponent than I ever anticipated. Watch and learn. <laughs>